A 7 News alert right now at 6. Two people died in a fiery helicopter crash at the airport in Erie. Air Tracker 7 showing you the charred helicopter right next to the runway. Witnesses saying they heard an explosion. News since 5, 7 News reporter Mark Stewart talking with some of those witnesses. Mark? And one witness saying that the flames were shooting 60 feet tall into the sky. As we come on now at 6 o'clock, you can see that emergency responders still have an established perimeter, a number of cars as well as an ambulance, and they've been able to move the main fuselage and the tail section of that chopper onto a flatbed truck. All of this happening on the north end of the runway here in Erie. Take a look now from Air Tracker 7, and you can see the main fuselage and the tail parts together, but other parts really thrown apart upon impact, including the main rudder or uh, rotor, I should say, in addition, debris throughout the, the grassy fields nearby. Moments after the impact, one homeowner tried his best trying to help. Wanted to do, see if I could do anything first as far as what, what I could do. I brought a fire extinguisher down and it was, uh, it was, it was hot. And, yeah, it was, uh, you know, not, not good scene. And as we look ahead into the evening, there are some crucial questions to answer. First of all, the names, the identities of the two people who were killed. Were they experienced pilots? Were they part of perhaps some kind of chopper training school? Uh, in addition, the FAA, the NTSB here, anxious to hear perhaps by the end of the night if they shed any early indication as to what happened. We're live in Erie tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.